Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Autumn and I am back with another video. This video is a little more somber, but I am here to help, okay? If you have been rejected from the JET program and you got your email this year or this week, or last week or whatever the case may be I can completely understand where you are I know what you're feeling um, I am here to give you some advice Just for reference, for, for, you know, just so you, you understand where I'm coming from, I applied for the JET program in 2019 for the 2020 um, cohort. I was rejected, like, almost immediately. I feel like I didn't. I, I got my rejection email in January of 2020. Um, yeah, I was I was really sad. I was very sad about it because I felt like I worked so hard. I had um, Jakob and Courtney and a few other JET participants help me with my JET program application. I had finally been able to reach out to my teachers and get them to write my recommendation letters and everything. And it just kind of felt like I was just kicked in the face. Like... And I was a part of that silly amount of people that reached out and asked, like, what did I do wrong? Don't do that because they don't really give you good advice. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so you're probably feeling really down right now, and that makes sense. Um, I do have a video. It's going to be linked up above about, like, how to get over rejection um, just because it was super fresh then, so I have better advice there. But this is more, this video is more advice for what to do to improve your application for next year, if you're trying for next year. Um, I want to be super candid with you guys. I wasn't going to try again. I really wasn't. I was so crushed that I was like, you know what? No, I don't want to be a part of a company that can't see my worth. But... After doing a lot of soul searching, I realized that like this company is just ginormous and it's not that they don't see your worth. It's just that it's they've seen so many people and I would like to believe that the reason why I was not chosen the first time is because there's just a ton of other candidates that were just as good, if not better. And I'm not worse. I just wasn't at the top, unfortunately. So, yeah, so let's get into these tips. I have five tips for you guys today on how to get over this rejection because we're gonna work on it. We're gonna, we're gonna get in next time. So my first tip for improving your application for next year is to do some sort of teaching course. I think that it's beneficial. It's not required to know how to teach. However, I feel like just for your peace of mind and proof to yourself and them that you've actually been working towards something, go get your teaching certificate. Um, even if it's just the 20, 20 hour one, get something that shows that you're dedicated to learning how to do this so that they can choose you the next time. Um, my, my teaching experience is zero however I did go to New York for a two hour class or a for a 20 hour class in New York where I learned the simple basics about teaching foreign language or teaching English as a foreign language um, it was totally worth it I had a great experience I got to be in New York duh that's awesome if you don't live up north there I'm pretty sure there's classes there's also online teaching courses I just recently finished a f like 200 hour uh, TEFL course um, and a few a few months ago that was online through TEFL Academy this is not sponsored but um, I would reach out to them they usually have promotions and deals the coursework is a lot, but 
you learn a lot and then you get to keep all that stuff that you've learned so like that's good because like who knows how to write a lesson plan <laughs> i don't so yeah um definitely get that under your belt that's gonna definitely help you for next year tip number two for how to improve your application is to work on your sop again if you mentioned anime take it out if it doesn't have to do with your immediate career if you're not trying to be an animation artist or a manga artist in your future take it out <laughs> like i sound like I sound like Jakob, I sound like Courtney, I sound like everybody else that is on the JET program. Do not mention anime. It is not worth it. Everybody knows that everybody that's going to Japan likes anime some shape or form. Don't mention it. Not even a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't. My friend said that he did, but I would not. Um, what I mentioned in my SOP, and I can do a video a little later about like what I put in my SOP. If you guys want to see that, just comment down below. Let me know. Um, something that I mentioned in mine was my love for Japanese music. I found a way to connect that to who I am as a person today. So work on your SOP. Work on your statement of purpose, even if it means paying a current JET program attendee and like seeing if they can read it over, getting someone to look at it. If you're still in school, go ahead and hit up your English department and see if they can check for grammatical errors. Just, you know, check for all that stuff because your SOP is the most important part of your application process. That's, that's what they're looking at the most. I'm almost certain. <laughs> Tip number three is to brush up on some Japanese. Now, knowing Japanese is not required for this program. However, I think that it shows that you've done a little bit of, you've given a little bit more effort by trying. So even if you can sign up for a course, do a semester or two, at your local at your college if you're not finished with school um about japanese courses or like japanese culture japanese language even if you are not in school sign up for those apps you know duolingo italki um hello talk just get in there busu <laughs> sorry i'm thinking of stuff randomly get in there and look at ways that you can self-study some Japanese so that you can increase your knowledge of Japanese people, Japanese language, Japanese culture, you know, increase your knowledge on Japan in general. Um, that'll also help you strengthen your SOP as well because you could mention what you've been doing since you got rejected to make yourself a better candidate. I mean, I wouldn't word it like that, but you know, Increase your increase your knowledge of their language. They're gonna, you know. I don't know how else I can say that. <laughs> um, increase your knowledge. There are tons of YouTube videos out there where people are teaching you Japanese. I personally watch Tokini Andy, um, and then a few other people, but they're Japanese native, so I don't know their names increase your japanese language knowledge if you guys are liking these tips so far please give this video a thumbs up um and then we're gonna get into our fourth tip for how to improve your application for next year your fourth tip for improving your application for next year i would say just keep it simple So basically what I mean is if your application was near perfect this time, next time don't change too, too much. I, my application, not the SOP, my application for the JET program for 2019 and 2020 were practically identical other than the fact that I had was able to add, um, TEFL experience or like teaching language as a teaching English as a foreign language experience. Other than that, everything else stayed the same. My cultural experiences stayed the same. 
don't drastically change your application as if you're this whole new person because they don't want someone that's fake. Be honest. If you don't have any inter interactions with different cultures because of where you live or your geographical, you know, miscomings or whatever, that's fine. Don't change that stuff because it's not unless you unless you move and you change that stuff deliberately, you're not going to change it in a year. So I wouldn't change any of that stuff. Keep it simple. The changes need to happen to your SOP and your preparation for the JET program. You need to be working on little stuff like learning a little bit of the language, learning how to teach a little bit. If you can sign up for a teaching program, do that. But like straight up moving to a completely different state just so that you can have some intercultural interactions might not be the best idea. I mean, I can't see why you would do something like that. But um, yeah, keep it simple. The changes have to seem graduate, not deliberate, if that makes sense. Um, my fifth and final tip is gonna sound like a person that does not care, but trust me, I do. Reevaluate your reasons for wanting to join the JET program. The first time I applied for the JET program, my mindset was not ready for the JET program. I don't think, as much as I'd like to convince myself I was, I currently don't think that I would have thrived in Japan. I think I would have liked it at first and then I would have, you know, I would have hated it. Now mind you, I am currently not in Japan, so that could easily be the statement that I'm going to say in a few months. We don't know, but my motives were definitely different from when they from when they were the second time. My second time applying, I had a different set of motives, but the same drive. Um, I think that it's good to evaluate why you want to do this because if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, which there really aren't any real wrong reasons, um, it'll show on paper is what I'm saying. So if you're into anime, you're into Harajuku life, you're into, you know, karaoke and you want to be the next like b-boy, Japanese, whatever that's going to show more than what you've put on paper because I don't know. It's kind of like they have a sixth sense. They can tell people who just want to come over there and play instead of come over there and actually exchange cultures with them. I, I don't know how else to put that, but reevaluate why you want to do it. I, my intentions were not, there weren't, they weren't unpure, but they weren't, for the kids they weren't for wanting to to learn another culture they were strictly selfish reasons i wanted to get out of my situation i wanted to get out of my current living predicaments and i full-heartedly believe that is why i did not get in i think that it took me understanding myself and understanding and reevaluating why i wanted to go to japan for me to get into the jet program so I just want to say that's my last tip but you know heed that warning you know make sure that you're doing this for the right reasons but yeah so I know this video was a little bit somber hopefully these tips will help you for next year um, if you want to check out my other videos on the jet program they will be linked down below um, if you have any questions, if you have been rejected and you want to ask a specific question because I've been there and because I've been rejected before, please comment them down below. I'm happy to answer some questions within reason. I don't know if there's like certain stuff I can't answer. I don't know. But yeah, just answer. I'll answer them down below in the comments. Um, until then, I will see you guys in another video. Have a great day great 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 day and remember improve your jet program application so that i can see you in japan next year okay you got this you got this pick your head up pick your head up stand up you got this bye seriously guys last year when i got even when i got the alternative position i was so hurt but it was it was fine i was ready to apply for a third time so I was like, 
they're not gonna reject me a third time. That's not happening. And then I got in. So just keep that determination, guys. You guys got this. You got this. And if you don't, there are other companies. Yeah, you don't wanna join the other companies, but like there are other companies. If you really wanna get to Japan, you'll get to Japan. Don't let Jet stop you, okay? All right, <laughs> bye.